one of the most unique stock plays in the game and use it to shred your opponent up and down the field. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and skis I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So once again, back in the lab, uh, working on building a scheme out for one of my Patreon members, uh, and I was jumped into a book that I normally don't jump into because it's an alternative playbook. Uh, it is the Run Heavy Formation. And uh, the formation we're gonna take a look at is gonna be the Gun Y Off Trio Week. Gun Y Off Trio Week. And uh, what's unique about this particular formation is some of the unique plays that you have in this formation, such as the Gun Double Drag, you've also got this Deep In, uh, and then slot, uh, slot Option. I will tell you that the slot option is probably one of the most unique plays that I've seen in a long time and it offers you uh, multiple different ways to attack your opponent and it's going to give them a little bit strange animations it's going to have to deal with. So let's go and jump in this play and, and, and show how this is very unique and is very difficult to stop. A little bit extra play, it's very effective against um, heavy man blitzes because this option route will always get fairly good separation once he gets off the line of scrimmage. Uh, and what's cool about it too is that if you got uh, more yardage, so basically 10 yards that you want to go and do that, you can go ahead and hot route it and then get the animation. You can, so I picked up 15 yards right there because he actually goes past the sticks um, with, uh, with the secret play. So let's just go and show this to you again. And he just turns right around and gets an easy completion with the man, uh, with, any, with any kind of a man blitzer. Now on the backhand side, um, you've got a sluggo route with Robinson. See how he's, he does a little slant and then comes up. That's actually really good against um, man man blitzes. So we're going to block. Uh, we're going to do max protect here to give us a little bit more time against this blitz. And I'll show you how you can use that to actually go and hit your opponent for a huge play and a one play touchdown opportunity. So between these two routes, uh, the route, the option route on the backhand side uh, over here on the right, and then the sluggo route on on the left. Uh, on the left hand side uh, this is going to pretty much carve up any kind of um, any type of uh, man blitzing is going to give you an opportunity right there so uh, if you want to go ahead and give yourself a little bit more time just go ahead and max protect and you're just going to go ahead and just pop them with these two routes that are in two different areas that he can't use her away so what about cover two uh, well if we run at stock don't block anybody uh, cover two is going to basically open up right in the middle of the field. Uh, this little st little spot route um, by the tight end uh, is going to get pretty much separation the entire time uh, because the defender off the left actually has to play the, the, the running back route and the spot route at the same time. Now, that could get you in a situation where you could be getting yourself in some uh, sub type of user territory, but if he's bringing a user down, he can't cover basically the combination of uh, the route of Miller and also Burden and Cohen because Miller's route, I believe, against cover two should do a deep, um, yeah, so you see, see how he does um, a, a, a deep post route. Uh, that's actually going to go ahead. If he uses it, you should be able to hit him with the post route over the middle. You've got the spot route, and you've also got the little whip route by the running back. Uh, that is another area of the field. So if he comes down, he tries to take away the spot, the running back is going to go to the sideline, opening that up, and then you've got the deep post route, which is an option route against cover two for Miller. Um, also, sometimes what's going to happen is this route by the uh, wide receiver, Robinson, will get separation. So if we get underneath coverage with the cover two shell, which not on this play, but you'll see that Robinson will be wide open. And if he lets Robinson go, you're going to be able to go and tack him off to the far side over here and obviously get this. This is a good opportunity, good animation right here to get that one play touchdown. What about a guy that plays a lot of cover three? Well, uh, one of the cool things about cover three is that you can pop this running back route really, really quick underneath. And that's going to give him some little problems. And you also check off to the right um, and look for uh, the option route by Miller in the deep comeback route, and this kind of gives you a tell of where you want to go with the ball. So how the defender actually falls up. Now I've got the little crosser, and notice how this gets wide open on the back end side. So let me show you, this is a concept that I like to use a lot online, and I can get easy completions and get, uh, get, get big gainers with this. And this is what, what I like about this against that guy who runs a lot of cover three. So I'm gonna watch this wide receiver right here. So he gets pushed off the line, and watch how he slides out. He slides out, 
I could almost hit this deep comeback route because he actually comes in. It looks like he was, he's playing the sideline. Um, typically what happens, you have guys that float up to take away this deep comeback route. I probably could have hit that. But because he actually he, he looks like he's going to fall back, I knew that this deep th this this is going to turn into a deep post route, and nobody carries with him. So this guy lets the coverage go over. But look look, there's nobody in the area except for this deep safety. But he's so completely out of comp position, and there's all this action underneath. No way these defenders can play it. And I'm actually getting a good 20 yard gainer over over the middle. So we're going to go back to the right side again. Watch the defender. See how he floats up. Almost, I can go ahead and hit that right-hand side, too. So we're going to go off to the right-hand uh, right side again. He doesn't play it per perfectly, so I'm able to go ahead and pop that for an e easy yardage. Now, what about the slugger rod on, on the left-hand side? You're going to get single coverage. If you got a really dominant receiver like this and get these aggressive clutches, you can take a, take a shot. But that slugger route really is for man coverage is more than anything else. Against cover four, that uh, cover four drop is one of the more popular plays that a lot of players use. And this is where this little uh, crazy route by the running back is going to get a lot of action for you. Uh, so uh, it's like you can, you can pop it right away if you want to. You can throw that hot. Go ahead and watch that again. Uh, the defender doesn't fall down to it, so we're just going to go ahead and pop that and pick up the easy completion. If you hot rot Miller's route for a smart route, it what's going to happen is that's going to pull that defender up to play that streak, and you can actually hit that deep comeback route on the back end side. Now, what about the the slugger route on the left hand side of the screen? This is going to be one of those routes that is basically going to go ahead and get covered up. So you can see the defenders are in there. You have uh, two defenders right there biting on, on that particular route. So running this stock is probably not going to be the best thing to do that. Uh, you probably want to go ahead and use this. Uh, you might want to make some adjustments with this in your play. But the, the routes on this are just unique. It's just something your, your opponent's not going to be used to seeing. And it's going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and get just crazy completions for you. So you can see right here, the defender doesn't play it. And I can go and hit that deep comeback route in the sideline. So once again, guys, I'll be running um, probably some more different schemes, uh, probably different plays out of this play, uh, playbook. There's, there's a really some good gems uh, in this run-heavy playbook, which you wouldn't expect for passing. So to my subscribers, thank you for your support. If you like these tips, make sure you smash the like button. And until next time.